<laughs> well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Coffee and Devotions. This is where every weekday morning you and I would get together and have a little bit of coffee. Get in God's uh, word. And we grow in our love for the Lord together. And this year, 2024, Lord willing, you tell me. Lord willing, we're going to get through the books of Numbers, Deuteronomy, and he... Hey, 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 don't drink all my coffee, boy. <laughs> we're good. Well, let's go ahead and have some coffee. We'll pray and we'll get into God's word. I'm drinking all my coffee, boy. No, you may not. <laughs> Lord, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you for your word, and we pray that you would please help us to understand your word. We pray that your spirit would apply it to our lives. We pray, Lord, that you would teach us to have faith and to walk before you in your ways. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so we are finishing up Numbers chapter 14. Mm -hmm. Numbers 14, we'll start at verse 39 here. Let me get you to Numbers 14. All right, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers... Numbers 14, and we'll pick up right here at, at the end of Numbers 14. You see it? All right. How about you read verse 39? Then Moses is told that these words to all the children of Israel, and the people mm, mourned. Go ahead, Eightfully. Greatly. And they rose early in the morning and went up to the top of the mountain, saying, Here we are, and we will go up to the place which God has promised, for we have sinned. And Moses said, Now why do you transgress the command of the Lord? For this will not succeed. Do not go up, lest you be defeated by your enemies. For Yahweh is not among you. For the Amalekites and the Canaanites are there before you, and you shall fall by the sword because you have turned away from Jehovah, and Yahweh will not be with you. But they presumed to go up to the mountaintop. Nevertheless, neither the ark of the covenant of the Lord nor Moses departed from the camp. Then the Amalekites and the Canaanites who dwelt in the mountain came down and attacked them and drove them back as far as Hormah. Well, what do you think happens in that story? God's not with him, so now they're going to get thrown like bugs. Yeah, right. They try to repent on their own strength, don't they? Mm-hmm. All right, we've sinned, so we're going to go take it by force. Let's go, boys. But who's not going with them? God. Jesus. God and Jesus. God. Yeah, right, the Lord. All right, the Lord's not going with them. Because the Lord can stop them. Yeah, right. The Lord told them, no, you're going to wander in the wilderness for 40 years. But did they like that? No, they, they mourned. Oh, I don't want to wander in the wilderness. Why? Well, I, I know. I know. Let's go conquer Canaan our, Canaan yeah, our, ourselves. Yeah, why don't we? Yeah, why don't we? And what does yeah. Moses say? You're not going to do it. You're not going to get it. Ain't going to work, boys. Right? No, don't drink my coffee. No, it's not going to work. And so they, they ignore Moses. The Lord doesn't go with them. And what happens? <laughs> yeah, they're defeated right away. Okay, like those people get the axes. Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah, right. And so it doesn't go well for them. Does it go well for us when we don't want to obey the Lord? You get spanked. What if it, what if we're trying to do something that looks righteous, but the Lord's not with us? You, you won't have enough strength to do it. We won't have enough strength to do it? Yeah, is the Lord going to let the good God, come out of it? God needs, God needs to give you courage to do it. God needs to give us courage to do it? Strength. Courage and strength to do it? Yeah. yeah. Right, but more than just that, he's got to be with us to do it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we have to have faith, but we also have to walk where the Lord tells us to walk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I see people try to do this when they try to repent of sin. They try to do it on their own strength. And then guess what happens? I can't do it. Yeah. 
But did they try to do it God's way or their way? Damn. Well, hey, buddy, I've tried to do this before, right? Mm-hmm. When we think, oh, I've listened to this great sermon. It's it, like, I'm really going to stop doing this today, right? Yeah. Yeah, but we can't, right? We need the Lord to be with us. We need to ask Him to, to lead us. Mm-hmm. Okay, you ready to pray? Yeah. You want to pray or you want me to pray? Yeah, I can pray. Okay, let's pray. God, thank you so much that where you lead, we can follow. And Father, we pray that we would walk in your paths. Father, please do not allow us to go off thinking we can do things on our own strength and in our own ways. We pray that we would follow after you. We pray that we would turn away from our sins by your strength. We pray that we would be victorious, not in our own strength, but because our King goes before us. So Lord, please help us to have wisdom to know where to go, that we may follow in your path. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May you follow after Jesus Christ. May you lean not on your own strength or understanding, but may you trust in him. For he is our strength and our shield. We'll see you next time. (laughs) Bye. (laughs) You're silly. Thanks for listening to this week's message from God's Word for You, a ministry of Sharon R.P. Church in rural southeast Iowa. We pray that the message would be used by God to transform your faith in your life this week. If you'd like to get more information about us, feel free to go to the website, SharonRPC.org. We'd love to invite you to worship with us. Our worship time is 10 a.m. every Sunday at 25204 160th Avenue, Morning Sun, Iowa, 52640. May God richly bless you this week.